Now, now that fish there was pretty well on a dead mooch because you was pretty well, I thought you were neutral pretty well, right? Yeah, I had it shut right down. We're doing about yeah. not even one mile an hour no, there. I know. And, uh, we were sitting talking to him in the boat. I thought, oh, he's getting a little close. So I lifted up the rod hauler, came over like this here, and he was just pulling away, and all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And, uh, and then I, you know, he came off, but then he was coming to the surface. It was really quick, right? And, uh, and then I thought, no, this fish isn't that big. He's about the very same size as the other one, just from the feel of the way he's rolling in that, you know? But then when he came out of the water there, I slowed it right down. Your bait probably fell, so it probably uh, probably grabbed it there. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep changing our speeds and see if we can uh, get another bite. Where are we at here? We got a fish on here, folks. It's not the Chinooky that we're looking for. This fish don't even doesn't even want to fight. Look there. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, there he, now he wants to fight. He says, oh yeah, okay, now we'll give you a little bit of a tussle. A little feeder Chinook here on the fly rod. Going underneath the boat. Now he says, I'm getting the hell out of here. Whoa, look at him jump. Whoa, look at him going there. He just can't quite figure it out. You see, what, a lot of times what happens with a fly rod is it's so light that the fish, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, there he goes. <laughs> a lot of times what happens when you get a fish on with a fly rod <coughs> is it's so light, he's so lightly hooked that he can't really figure it out. He doesn't really know he's hooked. And then all of a sudden, He's to the boat, and uh, he's like, uh, what the heck is this all about? This is a, it's a jumping Chinook. Where are you at there, buddy? Dave disappeared. Dave doesn't like cameras, so as soon as the camera, he goes and hides up front. Whoa, but in the meantime, I'll have some fun. I probably have egg in my teeth. <laughs> I, uh, for breakfast this morning, I... You always get a bite when you're having lunch, Gary. Yeah, I had that hard-boiled egg. I was having fun with that hard-boiled egg. And, and, uh, this is fun, isn't it? Hey, Dave, look at this here. I want, I want you to experience this. Only I want you to experience one about 30 pounds. We're hoping for. Yeah. Gramps just got a 30 pounder and it looks like this. Check out this fish. This is a really nice fish you just caught. Very nice. Okay, here's the fish here. That's a nice, oh! <laughs> okay, I'll just back up here. Whoa, and you can grab that line. Try and get, okay, whoa. Doesn't like coming near the boat. No, he doesn't, he's, he's... whoa. Come on, mister. Okay, fish is up again here. Just gonna bring him over today so he can do a quick release on him. You wanna use the gaff to release it? Do a gaff release there. There he goes. There he to goes. Right in the nose there. Right in the nose, that's where you want to hook him, right? Float planes are the taxis of the BC coast. Rules have it that a pilot's ceiling should be 500 feet. 
when I see cowboys like this flying the coastline with this poor visibility, well, it takes away my wonder of why planes go down because of pilot error. They're crazy. This is a good fish. Let me take my sunglasses off here. What? I got us a neutral now, but you know. Okay. You see, I saw him bump it the once, eh? <laughs> he bumped it once. And then, uh, came back and bumped it again. Oh, yeah, this is a good fish, I think. It's just a nice little overcast. You can tell there's a good bite, okay, because all of a sudden the water's moving different. You see the birds. Nice. You got a heavy fish on there. Yeah, it feels pretty good. He's just up on the, he's just gonna come up there now. <sighs> Just a little bump, eh? There's just a little bump on the uh, on the rod. I went, oh. And I brought it up a little bit. We've been fishing 50 feet. So I, I came up to 40 feet. I didn't have it down for very long. And uh, the fish smacked her. See how Dave's operating the boat for me over there? He's sort of keeping me inside the fish. Oh, look, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> what a day this has been. What a fabulous day. Rivers Inlet, land of the big Chinooks. Three river systems up here that are bearers of fish over 50 pounds. And there are three out of only, if only about a half a dozen rivers in BC that can lay claim to that. And they're what they call seven-year-old fish. It's a genetic strain that stays out at sea for seven years. And at any time when you're fishing up here, you can have an opportunity of hooking into one of those fish. And if I did, I'd probably end up releasing that big fish because there's River's getting less and less and less of them every single year. Look at them.